My name is Jack Lee and I'm currently on the Level 3 Fast Track Production Apprenticeship with the BBC. So the last 12 months have been quite turbulent, it's been very busy. So it started off in September, kind of just getting integrated with certain teams and like the teams I'd be working with. And then we came to Skill Camry for two weeks and then after that we were kind of fully thrown into the working world of the BBC. So I started working on a, a topical show called Saturday Live, which is a live talk show every Saturday morning. It's kind of like a, a chat show around the table for breakfast sort of vibe. And um, worked on that, met lots of celebrities. And like first person, I'll never forget, first person I ever met in the BBC, like a celebrity, was Ross Kemp. And I thought that was a class, because who doesn't love a bit of Ross Kemp? And then just kind of moved around the different teams in BBC Audio, where I'm based in Cardiff did some science shows, did a couple of things for the World Service and Radio 4 and then I got a really exciting opportunity then about six months into my apprenticeship I got to go and do a 12 week placement with an independent film company a TV company sorry called Wild Flame Productions and so I was working on the production uh, development team then so coming up with all the new ideas going to commissioners to pitch these ideas to kind of get the ball rolling on a production then but yeah, it's been a really exciting 12 months and six months left and can't wait to keep going. I definitely think after, I think it takes a while to kind of realise how useful it is. Because when you first start, you start, you're in a BBC and it's like, right, I just want to hit the ground running. But then you kind of get to come here and kind of just kind of reevaluate everything and have like almost like not a breather because you are working but you're not in the, the fast paced environment that the BBC can be sometimes but I think it's been really beneficial for everyone just you kind of get to learn more about the industry because especially with us being in the BBC I know what's happening BBC audio wise but at the outside world I have no idea what's going on so you kind of get to come here hear from the guys at Skill Camry be like all working professionals, been in the industry for X amount of years, I did even guess, combined how many years of experience everyone has. And so it's, it's really valuable to kind of come here, hear it from the horse's mouth, basically, and just kind of, you kind of get to learn a bit more about the industry that you're going to be coming to work in. And also, because you're set up with like, so we've got, I don't know, maybe 15 apprentices that all started on the same day. But when you're at work, you might not get to see them every day. And when you get to come here, you'd actually get to kind of have like a little debrief with everyone and kind of find out what everyone's been doing, get ideas maybe of something you might want to do, like you might want to go and do some shadowing on a drama, but you're working in radio and you can kind of just kind of get that collaboration between people then. It's, and it's very, very useful coming here. Actually going to miss it. I definitely would say I've matured, not in the sense of like my personality, but in my outlook on what it's like to work in an industry like this, in the media industry. It's, I've definitely kind of realised how hard it can be, but if you have the right kind of people around you, the right network and the right kind of attitude behind it, you can go forward in it, if that makes sense. So it's not so much as scary or as such a big enigma as it once was when I first started Bright Dye Bushy Tail 12 months ago. Anyone considering to do an apprenticeship, even if it's just a little thought in the back of your head, you're not sure what you want to be doing in the future, you could be working in a job for the last five years like I was in a completely different industry, or you could be fresh out of university or college. And the thing I would tell and just say to you is, just give it a go. What have you got to lose? You might find yourself 12 months down the line where I am today and think, you know what, I've appreciated the time I've had here and the experience I've gained, but it might not be for you and that's okay because that's what we're here for. That's why we're here to learn if this is what we want to be doing. Like I've joined and done radio, but it doesn't necessarily mean now that I want to go into radio. I'm. I'm more leaning now towards something like in film or TV just because it's something that appeals more to me or who I am as a person but just give it a go and just see what happens. It's 
Scale Cambry, you've been a massive part of this journey for me and I've cherished every day I've been here. And I'm actually, like, I, I know I may sound sarcastic, but this is just how my voice sounds. I am extremely gonna miss all the team here at Skill Cymru.